All right, hey y'all, Lance here with another video for you, and welcome back to Bloodborne. Now, this is more of a makeup video for not doing a video yesterday. Um, and also, th happy Thanksgiving to those that celebrate it. And I'm in here too. Yeah, didn't think you'd ever hear her voice from this location, did you? I'm visiting for a little while. True. Welcome home. What is it? Over time, countless the graves here it all see. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Gotta get used to using this new blunderbuss of mine. So I bought the blunderbuss so I can take try to deal with the uh, dude with the Gatling gun. Probably a bad idea on my part, but, you know. It is what it is. I've discovered a new trick, too, for fighting. Oh, that's good. Mm. Curl up. Do you have that uh, thing you told me you had? Oh, the, the, yeah, give me a minute. The warming thing? Give me a minute. I have to find a place to plug it in, though. Oh. We can wait till later. Yeah, that's fine. Wait. Wait, wait. No. Yeah, snacky snacks. Of course we got snacky snacks. We have all the snacks. Even though we just ate Thanksgiving dinner. It wasn't, we didn't eat a whole lot of it though. No, we didn't. We didn't do this typical stuff ourselves kind of thing. No, my mom did though. <laughs> you see what I just did? Yeah, and we played with my nieces and nephews for the longest time. I love this new move. Oh, I'm sorry. I am tired. It's fine. It's been a hellish week. Friend eggs about to hatch. Nice. Um. I'm perfecting a new technique in this game. Switch, switch strikes, basically. At least that's what I'm calling it. Whee! Waster pass on. Because I'm gonna invite you. Before you go. Too late. I was gonna say. Do you? My phone my phone needs to be on. Here. Well hopefully it You get your brother's uh, friend code, huh? Nope. It's fine. I'll 
be honest though, the switching uh, strikes does drain a lot more uh, stamina. Getting pretty proficient with uh, the saw spear. Have you ever taken, did you take out that guy with the Gatling gun? That's what I was talking about just now. Oh, sorry. That's why I got the blunderbuss now. So you can take him on? Make sure that's what I have. Maybe I'll get a shiny. Maybe. That'd be nice. I don't have a shiny luck luck yet. Did you get it from the community day? Nope. I don't think I did. I think it's one of the ones I missed on. Invite. It happens. Nope, not shiny. But CP is, is 603. I need to go 6. So maybe it's not like. Almost had him too. Uh, the next time you dream, give some thought. This close. This freaking close. There's no um, Your pit I have caught I caught you your pit blood. Okay. Yeah, I'm having trouble catching my I was just like my mom's she's I we were asking her. No clue. Well, it's not like I can stay here all day tomorrow. Huh? It's not like I can stay here all day tomorrow. True. I mean, I can't think of your card, but that wouldn't be your card. So I have to take care of some Yeah, you gotta go take care of Fluffy Boy. Yep, my Fluffy one. It looks like my me discovering how to do that, the whole switch moves. Yeah that I can do it repeatedly is the reason that I'm able to... Ooh, a nice solid three star. It's the reason I've been able to... Well, I was able to get... almost kill that guy this time. But I, I saw myself getting so close, and plus having the same weapon as him kind of came in handy. Setting for the next attack.
Besides, once I deal with that dude, I can take care of everybody else without much difficulty. out pretty well. Ow. No, 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 Frick. You did it again? I fell off the edge, yeah. Again? It means I lost all the other blood echoes, but no big deal. I get those blood echoes back easily. Where did I put my drink? There it is. Good for now, thank you. Right here. What? Oops. I'm gonna hit your chest. You gotta aim. It needs work. <laughs> what, dark chocolate or something? No, no, I wouldn't get anything dark chocolate. I don't wanna set up myself for more pain. True. I'm highly allergic to dark chocolate. Well, not highly. Not a toxic stock highly, but if I eat more than those two little mini bars from, like, Hershey's or whatnot, I'll have a blinding migraine, and I could actually do get physically sick if I get more than that. So, not, I mean, it's not like an but I still get sick. This technique is coming in so handy. Plus, basically, I I'm slicing their throats. Morbid thought, but it's actually kind of, it makes sense. Yep. You would think that it took them a while to figure out not to, to have that handle curved that much. Yeah. Because otherwise, you cut your fingers off in the process. Yep. Uh, for tracking the blade. Oh, you frickin' screwed up my frickin' system. I gotta use it. Jerks screwed up my system. Gotta get a freaking heal. Well, I may have taken a hit, but it didn't hurt too bad. This message? Uh -huh. Fear man. That's all it said. Uh -huh. Oh, he has my blood echoes. Okay. I didn't lose them all. I got back the 1,000 I lost. Must have been like decapitation right there. True. It's not a very good shot. Doesn't have to be. Die bird. Dead bird. 
bird. Birdie, no! Birdie dead. I have 5,642. Echoes? Blood echoes. Don't die. Even if I do, I can always come back and get them, provided I don't die twice. True. Like I did earlier. That sucks. Eh, it's not so bad. I mean, losing 4,000 blood echoes really isn't that big of a deal now. This place is perfect for grinding. Old Yarnum is. As I, as I go along in the game, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find more and more things I can do like that. Ow. Oh, he freaking visceraled me. You still have dreams. Well, <sighs> next time you dream, give some thought. I want your weapon. Give it to me. And not by killing me. Go get it. I think by beating him, I get, get his weapon. That might be one of the, um, the powder uh, black powder weapons that they use in the game that one faction yeah oh and uh in case you're wondering Swedish fish Yes, I do. Maybe the exact same company as Sour Patch Kids. Maybe I should use my fire paper on him. I would. On the guy with Gatling gun? Yeah, some of the guy with a Gatling gun. Why not? Makes the most sense. That might help.
as I said, if we have if we uh, feel any hungrier after this, we could still eat the red beans and rice or the um, homemade mac and cheese. Yeah. Don't screw up my pattern, boys. One at a time, please. You tried to screw up my pattern? That was close. Oh, that was close. Almost died with that one. Die, birds. Four for one. Kind of worth using, using the, worth using the Molotov back here. Wasting a lot of time doing this, but I don't care. I'm still I'm determined to defeat that guy today. You know? Yeah. Oh. Of course she's over here reading Reddit stories probably. I play Pokemon Go and commenting on him. You have a lot of blood on you. Yes, I do know that. Some of that's my blood. Most of that is enemy blood. Here comes the Definitely, uh,
No, no. no. You still have dreams. Well, the next time you dream, give some thought. Powder keg, that's what it is. The powder keg is the one I have to I have to try to get. I think it's one of those weapons from the powder kegs that he's using. Not when you do that. What did you do? I was drinking. Not alcohol, in case you guys are wondering. Water. I mean, I could drink alcohol. Hmm. Yeah. But I don't think you're. I don't think. That's a wise move. Probably not. As I said, at least I'm figuring out a, a strategy for some of these things. But that guy up there is... Oh, I think the reason why I was able to do so much damage to him last time and almost kill him is that I used... Oh, I didn't use the fire paper. Yeah. Oh, like a freaking idiot. If I'd used the fire paper, I might have actually done some serious damage to him. Maybe even beat him. No, well. Okay, that, that, ow, 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 ow. That shortcut was terrible. It's a bad idea. I regret it considerably. Oh, well, now you know. Did not realize that that jumps right off. At least I didn't die from it. True. I could have ended far worse. You lost your last blood echoes. Mm, I'm not really worried about losing all those. Let's see if this actually works. If not, I will have wasted a fire paper. Well, if you die, it wouldn't matter because it comes back, doesn't it? No. Fire paper is once it's used up, it's used up. Even if you die? Even if I die. Fire paper is a limited resource. I did not know that. So there's only one left. I've used it too many times. It's hard to get a hold of, too. Yeah, I can't push him off. Oh, yes, I could. I think I just killed him. If I just killed him, that's gonna be freaking awesome. I don't think you just killed him. I think I just killed him. How will you know? Only one way to find out. Time to go down and look. Depends on where he landed, too. 
I think he's dead. Oh, he's so freaking dead. Oh, come on! What? He died! I killed him! He's down there. I can't. That's where it is. That's what I need. And you can't get to it. So I can't get to it. Oh, son of a bug. That is just. That's wrong. That's a glitch. That's a game breaker right there. Well, you shouldn't have uh, knocked him off the ledge. I couldn't have helped it. Apparently, it's possible. Now he's dead. Can you get that by any means? Without jumping down? Will you die if you jump down there? Probably. Are you gonna try? I'm gonna try. I mean, if all else fails, you'll uh, have to go down there and get it. I mean, we shall see what happens. But I think I killed him and permanently. I guess we'll find out when you, when you come back. Mm -hmm. If I die, I probably will from doing this. Yeah, that's where he landed. So I did kill him. Okay. This is gonna hurt. Ah! Yep. Even I couldn't survive that. the shot and we'll see what happens if he comes back after killing him that way or maybe the item will be up top hopefully that's the case but if not well, well it's oh a well. breaking glitch you're not supposed to kill him that way you're supposed to kill him from actual combat but knocking him off the ledge is a great way to kill him but it shouldn't be done nope so let's run back out there and see if we see him by the Gatling gun, we know that we uh, didn't do what we, we set out to do. And he gets to use his fly paper, uh, fire paper. Yeah, I didn't lose my fire paper as a result. I don't, I didn't think, I don't think I saw him. I'm not sure I was paying attention. But the item could still be up there. Or where you landed. Hmm, the blood echoes will be where I landed. I don't see him up there anymore. He's dead. Oh, lovely. He's perma-dead. Yay. Maybe the item will be up there. Possibly. Get it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I still gotta. Not up there anymore. Yep, he's gone. Oh, got another glitch down here. Oh wow! Got him. It's a. Uh... Kind of like street sharks. I was wondering where he, he was. Ah, this was the way down. But yeah, I got the Gatling gun guy. By knocking him off a ledge. Ugh. 
Which also means I can't use him to take out these guys anymore. Pretty sure all my blood echoes will be back there, so I'm not really worried about getting him back. Technically, keeping the Gatling gun guy around would probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to uh, keep, let, allow him to keep taking out enemies. But I was tired of him shooting at me. Now well, it looks like the item's gone. We'll see if it's respawned up top. I doubt it. The item's probably gone forever. If that's the case, that's the case. It's not a big deal. But maybe it was something important. I'm going to find out. Oh, yep, the item's back. It did respawn up here. Powder keg badge. So yes, he was a powder keg user. Which means I might be able to get powder keg weapons. I wonder if I, could, if I should leave a note. I'm actually go over here. Actually, I'm going to do it down here. for blunderbuss. Oh, so you can't actually write anything. There it is. There's mine. I added my note. What is it? Time for blunderbusses. Nice. That's what I used to knock him off the... Oh, good. That was a... I just thought my comforter had torn or something. With your tornado? Tornadoes? I can see that. 
<laughs> Rude. But true. Our hush. Never. Down we go. I mean, you need to get that tip cup talk about getting a pedicure. Yes, I did. But you will eventually. What was it, 500 subs? Yep. What was our, that was our decision? Your decision? You were part of that decision, Missy. Was I? Yes, yes, you were. Okay. But hey, I made a huge dent now. And now, I might be able to, oh, the powder, maybe that allows me to get a new weapon. Maybe. I see you standing there, buddy. I know it's dead. Dual kill. They're all dead. Now I'm at 13,056 blood echoes. Probably should go ahead and... Oh no, I'm keep going. You know why? Why? Because I already have strategies for these other areas. pebbles out of those birds you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the more blood echoes I can earn the better plus taking out that hunter really really did help Inquisitor, actually.
Time for the doggos. Maybe. Wouldn't hurt to take a quick break and drink. Bad water physics there. Harp. Yeah, it's pretty. Not bad looking at all. It's actually reflective too. Yeah, but how would it react if you go walking in it? You can't. Well, actually, it reacts pr pretty pretty well in, in the areas you can uh, walk in water. Why can't you go walking in it? Is, is the hunter one of those characters that can't go swimming in two feet of water? Oh, I can go walking in water. I just don't typically do it. Just not in that. I don't. We don't swim. We walk. Do not swim. The good news is, whenever I get hit. Provided I attack the enemy quickly enough, I heal back up. Can I visceral with? I think I can visceral with this weapon. I think you're going, buddy. I've now discovered how to kill the werewolves very quickly without using fire paper. Although fi fire paper is still freaking awesome. Cleared. I'm making good time. Well, yeah, I'm making good time. Probably nobody's on right now watching this because it's Thanksgiving and people are out with their family, which we perfectly understand and respect. Doggo. Come on. Come on. What you got? Got him. And bloodstone shards. Something you, ha something you really have to work on farming in this game. If you want to upgrade your weapons. To a certain level, anyway. I can switch back to my repeating pistol now. Although the blunderbuss is good for, uh, as you saw with me, uh, creating a visceral opportunity. I wonder where the next boss is. Where the I know where the next boss is. That was not a boss. That uh, wasn't? The guy I killed? Yeah. No, that was not a boss. What was he then? Uh Inquisitor. Got it. Oh, he whooped your butt several times. Yes. But the thing is, by knocking him off the ledge like I did, I won. By cheating. Technically, no. 
It's not cheating if it's a game mechanic. True. It's just not a suggested or reckon. Well, that's actually the fastest way to kill him is to use the blunderbuss to knock him off the ledge and hope you don't fall in the process. The ne bosses are in areas that you can only pass through. Um, well, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm about to say. Where is it? Where is it? Um, right here. You show me later. No, I'm gonna show you now. See that that misty gate there? Uh huh. That's the entrance to the boss area. It's inside that abandoned church. There's an enemy. I'm still. I still don't feel confident enough to go after. There was a few guys over here. So you're grinding. Yes. Here, come here. You're my new friend. Oh, never mind. Church, I made a new friend. Never mind. That right there, this is a another hunter, but it's an in-game character, not a uh, fellow hunter. So by calling upon him, I can actually get a little help. Uh, it's the guy I met earlier. Um, he looks more like a knight than my character does, and he will be the one that I, I will summon later to help me fight that enemy. But for now, I'm going to head back to the Hunter's Dream and see if there's a new weapon. If there is, I may get it and see how well I can work with it. But I have a feeling that by getting that badge, I will now have the ability to buy a new weapon. Again, I'm not sure. I really hope there's a new weapon involved after getting that badge. That powder cake badge better be worth it. Because that took me a while to figure out how to kill that guy. I'm just glad my, my strategy of knocking him off the ledge worked. That is good news, though, for players. That if you're dealing with a, an enemy that is really difficult. And there's a ledge. So long as there's an area you can get to after that. I suggest knocking the enemy off the ledge. It's kind of a cheatsy way of winning. But at least in this game, gravity and fall damage is universal for both player and enemies. You know? Yeah. They didn't make it only players receive fall damage. It's also... So that that's a cool thing. I like that. It, it evens the playing field a little bit, I think. Especially on enemies like that. More than likely, that's actually the, that's the fastest method to ever take that guy out. You know? Yeah, entering the dream. Yeah, I'm entering the dream to see what I got. Living the dream. If this is somebody's idea of a dream, they need to wake the hell up. Before I talk to her, I want to see. It's more than likely it's gonna be something really expensive. What? Oh look! Rifle Spear and Stake Driver. So the Stake Driver was the weapon that guy was using. The Rifle Spear is the one I've been look, been curious about. Trick weapon crafted by Workshop Heretics, the Powder Kegs. A prototype weapon serving as a simple firearm and spear, possibly created in imitation of lost Kanehurst weapon. Lacks any no notable function, saving that it is on the only trick weapon with an attached gun. So I was right. That allowed me to get new weapons. Um, rifle spear or stake driver? Take a look at this one. Let's see. Truck weapon. This is the one that he was using. Fashioned by the workshop heretics powder kegs. Favored by the re retired hunter Jura. Stake driver with its queerly complex design. 
violently drives thick stakes into the flesh of foes. The stake driver allows for high damage critical attacks, but is difficult to use and leaves its wielder wide open. But none of its short... This should bother a mere powder keg. Now, I'm going with the frickin' the rifle. What's its stats? Ooh. So I'm gonna test... I'm gonna actually add... Use that one instead of my Kirk Hammer. For a little bit. Let's see how well it works. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Hey, it's like Pyrrha's weapon. Whoops! Well, there went one of my Molotovs. Shame. Welcome. What is it? You... Farewell, good hunter. I'm gonna go try to upgrade this weapon first. And I gotta repair my other weapons too. Yeah, I need. If I want the saw cleaver two or three, I need to up. I need uh, two more. But I want to upgrade the the blood the uh, rifle spear first. There we go. Let's go ahead and for okay, I only damage that one. Fortification for the rifle spear. Ooh, this thing's got some serious damage to it. Anything good for that one? Okay, we're going to go... Even though that one does increase the thrust damage a bit more, I'm going to go with that one. The tempering. I, guess I will have to test this weapon out. Oh, it does use one of my, uh, use one of my bullets for that. Okay. It's not a bad looking weapon, though. I'm going to test this sucker out on a few enemies. But first, Welcome. What is it? channel, and since I now have this one, I do this. Uh, I should probably upgrade that one again. I'm more of a strength build, but still. Uh, it drops you up to 10,000. 10,000 blood echoes for the next level up. I'm level 40 now, so... There's that. That is! My current weapon does require the use of blood tinge. True. Yeah, I'm just thinking. I'll keep using, doing what I'm doing. Keep working on my skill, my strength, and my vitality. Farewell, good hunter. And now what I'm going to do is something... Major grind session. I'm going to start from the very beginning with this weapon and see how well it works. See if I really like it. I mean, technically I can sell it after I've already used it, but we shall see. Of course, after this quick run through of killing everything in my path, let's listen to what she has to say. Hello. You're all right. Very good. She's safe with me now. I presume you're to thank? Mm-hmm. The treatment is going well. Stabilized, for the most part. Fascinating, really. Here you are, as promised. Ooh. Got some elixirs from her. Oh, Oh, hello. She's the tree. Here you are. Oh, thank goodness you came. Be a dear. Find me some more. <laughs> I 
I think I did the wrong thing by sending the girl here. I think so. Can I see the girl? I can barely see Yosefka. Oh no. Did I do the right thing? I hope I did the right thing. Should have sent the old lady here instead. shotting these guys so this was a smart move getting this this was uh, actually a good idea I don't get many blood echoes from these guys that's fine Switching back. Not a lot over here, so even though I did kill that guy, there's really nothing over here. It's kind of lame. Yep. I thought there was like a path or something over here the first time I did this area. Nope. Nope, just an enemy that I can't, that I needed to kill, but at the same time. Oh well. I'm certain there's more to this area. That meets the eye. Than what I realized the first time. Ah, shoot. What'd you do? I just used my fire paper. Sucks. Yeah, I always go back to an earlier save. There is no earlier save in this game, remember? Oh. It's an auto saver. There is no other file. Once you, once you mess up in doing them. In any of the Souls games, you mess up. You mess up. That's all there is to it. I kind of wish the fire paper was a permanent thing. But at the same time, that wouldn't make sense because you can only handle using a weapon that's on fire for so long.
didn't realize I got all that stuff, huh? No. I did not notice. All I got was three things. A snacks. That's why I was gonna pay for it. Oh. Oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you silly girl. I know. I'll be trying this later. Maybe with a... Which one? The Reese's Peanut Butter Cup one. Did you not see the birthday cake uh, things I bought? Or that I got? The cookie dough one? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to try that in a little while. That's what I was thinking. I can kind of go through here with impunity now. Yeah. Not too far off a carrot. Or do stupid stunts. The reason why I went back here was to see how easily I can get through it with what I got. That makes sense. This thing has some serious thrust damage. shotting some of these things, so that's good. Should be able to visceral this guy. Didn't need to. He one shot at him. Yep. I don't know if sending that little girl to the clinic was a smart idea. But I don't feel bad about not telling her her parents' fate. Oh, he actually speaks. Wow. Wow. I actually kind of pulled that one off. So I'm seeing how far I can get. Without dying. You know? Yeah. I can hear the hyenas. Those were not hyenas. Those were dogs. Those were women. They sounded like hyenas. They're having a party or having too much fun.
That spear's pretty good. But honestly, I I do like this weapon better. So in a way, I feel like I kind of wasted those blood echoes on buying the spear. Or the, the spear rifle. Don't get me wrong. It's a good weapon. It is. It does remind me of Pyrrha's weapon from Ruby. Yep. In some ways. Although hers is a spear, a gladius, and a shield, as well as a rifle. Hers is a three-in-one. Whereas Jean's weapon... Was a two? Was just a sword and a shield. I think it also turns into a bastard sword later. Well, that's, that's what his weapon becomes. Two for one. This area is not so good for, for grinding. But you can find a lot of stuff. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Here, puppy, 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 puppy. Here, have Molotov. Those enemies dead so far, and I've only got up to eight thousand. in blood. Yep. No, well.
So yeah, I'm just this is this is all about testing out this new weapon, see how well I do with it. You're doing pretty well. Yeah, well I'm also in a low level area. Go higher. I'm go that's why I think I'm going after the big guys. Take a beating like that now tells me how much stronger I've gotten. I mean, seriously, to be able to take that many enemies so easily. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna be heading back to the Hunter's Dream soon. Ish. I'm taking shortcuts now. in a large group, I really can't use that weapon. Makes See if I can find it for you after this raid battle. After the raid battle you're in? Yeah, co workers. Because my co workers also play Pokemon Go. And one of them's leaving me to go back to Colorado. Big Charizard Y. I don't think we're going to make it with four people. Probably not. Yes, yeah, so I know I took a shortcut to a different area. Hey, welcome to the stream. Hello there. If you're just now joining us, I did something really interesting earlier in the video. Actually, not making bad time. Yeah. I'm talking about the. Oh, your Pokemon. Yep. Oh no, you left. No, no. Oh well. Oh man, I don't have enough. We're actually making great time. Farewell, That's good. good hunt. Yeah, we're already at a quarter and we're not even there yet. It's gonna be close though. I'll keep the Kirk hammer there for now. Because the saw spear is so much strong, is extremely strong. The Kirk hammer is good too. I will actually be ending here in just a moment. I just want to go ahead and. Are we going to 
gonna come back or? Oh, we're gonna come back in a little while for another, for another stream. I just wanted to uh, to do that real quick. Anyway, if y'all enjoyed this video and all the content on our channel, hopefully you guys think about liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And the and, and don't the forget to hit. On me. And don't forget to hit that little bell for notifications when we go live. Well, we will be back. At any time interviews update, we'll be back later with another proper video for the for this time for this day of the week. Anyway, until next time, y'all stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.